What well, gang, I'm Ian Carroll on Jackpot Time coming at you. Uh, in lieu of the normal uh, Sunday video I've been making after a loss, I would go ahead and do one on Saturday night since I won't be really available to do that one tomorrow. I'm going out of town, going on vacation tomorrow, and you know I'm not going to do a whole lot of football videos, especially on the way driving down there tomorrow. Look, I've had enough of this. I, I, I've had enough of this, and the South Carolina fan base has had enough of it, too. We deserve better, we deserve more, and we deserve some fucking answers. I'm, I, I don't care what the excuses are. I don't want to hear Shane Beamer and their shit after this ball game is over with. I don't hear the, want to hear the crying. I don't want to hear the fucking whining. I don't want to hear the damn excuses. I want to know what you're going to do to fix it so we can start winning some football games. This was just an absolutely deplorable performance today on both sides of the damn football. I said it, I said it, both sides of the fucking football. I don't care that we limited Missouri's passing game and Luther Burton and Brady couldn't play with this little fucking red hairdo cook to a hundred and whatever damn yards it was, 200 and something passing. Well, that's great. Guess what? You let Cody Schrader, the running back, run for 150 something damn yards on you, gas you for a career high performance running the football. Career high. Guess what? Graham Mertz had a career high last week run, uh, throwing the damn football against South Carolina. Two mediocre players, two weeks, two career highs. That's sickening, it's abysmal, and it's sad. I don't want to hear any more shit about the players not dialing up pressures and not doing what you said. I'm tired of defending you. I'm tired of defending your coaching staff. You guys are not coaching them up correctly. You're not doing your jobs. You can't tell me the way that you've been recruiting the past few years that the kids we have out on that field are not somewhat on par with our opponents. They're not that much freaking worse or better than the kids that they're playing against. There's no way on God's green earth that they are. There's no way that the kids that we have on that football field are any worse than the ones that that fucking dork Eli Drinkowitz recruited to play on his. But you know what? They're coaching them up and they're holding them accountable and they're doing their damn job and you're not. And guess what you're doing? You're losing football games in the last minute of the football game. You let your kid come out there on the field with you and laugh it fucking up like it's funny. It's not funny. We're losing ball games. Everybody's sick and tired of it. We're two and five. We're the asshole of the SEC. And we're going to be the asshole of the SEC for as long as you continue to let it freaking happen, Jane. You guys need to get it together. We need to start winning some football games. We need to pull it together. And put this issue to bed. Because I'm tired of it. Quit saying, well, 2023 is a down year because we didn't have a down ticking challenge. And we, you know, we played over our heads in 2022 and in 2023, we expect to be down a little bit. No, no, nobody expects that. Nobody expects that. Ohio State's defense was one of the worst in America a couple of years ago. Guess what? They went out and got a, a damn a coordinator who would coach it up. And guess what? They had the talent. And this today, <coughs> they held Penn State to six fucking points. Or 12 points. Whatever it was. National cap championship caliber. We're never going to be national championship caliber in anything. Except the women's basketball. Because that's all we pump our money into in South Carolina. Ray Tanner, you suck. You're a horrible athletic director who makes horrible damn hires. You hired the wrong damn head football coach. And I'm going to go on ahead and say it. I said it. I said it. I said it two and a half, three years ago when you hired him on. That you're making a decision based on what the 2010 team said. Well, he was a great recruiter back in the day. He's the man to lead the football program. I think it's obvious that you're not. I think it's obvious that you're not. Get your crap together and prove me wrong. I'm sick and tired of this. And every one of us is sick and tired of it. Defense, you could run a freaking Mack truck through. Average-ass running backs like Cody Schrader running for 160, 170 yards. You ought to be embarrassed to get out of bed and dress yourself tomorrow morning. You ought to be embarrassed to put your clown shoes on when you get out of bed tomorrow. 
excuse me, you can't put a full clown suit of shoes on because one of them's got to be special. Because we broke it, breaking our foot, beating the hell out of it against the dresser drawer because we care so much. I'm ready to detach myself for a while. Thank God I'm going on vacation. Oh, and by the way, any Clemson fans who are on there watching this rant, I want you idiots to send, not you're not you idiots, but I want you to send me a link to what the idiots over on TaterNet had to say about Carolina Jackpot clowning on me. Your team's sitting here at four and two and is a major disappointment, has lost to Duke and then gave a game against Florida State away and probably are going to get your ass whipped by Miami tonight because I actually bet on you to win. So that's why I know you're probably going to get your ass whipped. Reverse psychology. I'm willing to give up sixty point uh, sixty dollars to see Carol Clemson get their ass whipped. Anyway, still go Gamecocks, the real ones who are still left out there, and uh, Clemson fans, do me a solid. I want to have to see what they had to say about Carolina jackpot. Peace. I'm out of here.